Welcome to the Bible Quiz. In this video, let's embark on a profound exploration into the life of King Jehoiakim, a pivotal figure in biblical history. Jehoiakim ruled over Judah during a tumultuous period, grappling with the challenges of Babylonian dominance and divine warnings. His choices and actions would shape the destiny of his kingdom, reflecting the intricate interplay between human decisions and God's providence. As we delve into the life of Jehoiakim, we will unravel the political complexities, divine interventions, and the spiritual lessons embedded in his reign. Join us on this riveting expedition through the life of King Jehoiakim as we navigate through a series of 24 interactive, multiple-choice questions. These quizzes are designed not only to test your knowledge, but to foster a deeper understanding of the intricate dynamics that shape Jehoiakim's legacy. Now let's get started. Question 1. Who was Jehoiakim's father? A. Josiah B. Amon C. Zedekiah D. Jehoram You get 10 seconds. That's A, Josiah. First Chronicles chapter 3, verse 15. The sons of Josiah, Johanan the firstborn, Jehoiakim the second son, Zedekiah the third, Shalom the fourth. Jehoiakim's father was Josiah. Question 2. Who was Jehoiakim's mother and where was she from? A. Zebedah come from Ruma. B. Padiah come from Ruma. C. Zebedah come from Jerusalem. D. Padiah come from Jerusalem. You get 10 seconds. That's B. Padiah come from Ruma. 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 36. His mother's name was Zebedah, daughter of Padiah. She was from Ruma. Jehoiakim's mother was Zebeda, and she was from Ruma. This detail provides insight into the lineage and origin of Jehoiakim's maternal side. Question 3. Who was the son of Jehoiakim? A. Hezekiah. B. Jehoshaphat. C. Joash. D. Jehoiachin. You get 10 seconds. That's D. Jehoiachin. 1 Chronicles chapter 3, verse 16. The successors of Jehoiakim, Jehoiachin, his son, and Zedekiah. Jehoiachin was the son of Jehoiakim. Question 4. What was the original name of Jehoiakim? A. Eliakim B. Jotham C. Amon D. Zedekiah You get 10 seconds. That's A, Eliakim. 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 34. Pharaoh Necho made Eliakim son of Josiah king in place of his father Josiah and changed Eliakim's name to Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim was originally named Eliakim before Pharaoh Necho changed his name upon making him king. Question 5. After becoming king of Judah, what did Jehoiakim do as recorded in 2 Kings chapter 23? A. Initiated religious reforms. B. Built a new temple in Jerusalem. C. Paid Pharaoh Necho the silver and gold. 
D. Established peaceful alliances with neighboring nations. You get 10 seconds. That's C. Paid Pharaoh Necho the silver and gold. 1 Kings, chapter 23, verse 35. Jehoiakim paid Pharaoh Necho the silver and gold he demanded. Jehoiakim, after ascending to Judah's throne, paid tribute to Pharaoh Necho, highlighting political subjugation. This act underscored the kingdom's dependence on Egypt and showcased the complex alliances shaping the region during that period. Your journey to never missing a quiz starts with the subscribe button. Click it now and stay connected with us. Question 6. How did Jehoiakim fulfill Pharaoh Necho's demand for silver and gold? A. By selling precious artifacts. B. By depleting the royal treasury. C. By borrowing from neighboring kingdoms. D. By taxing the land and collecting from the people. You get 10 seconds. That's D, by taxing the land and collecting from the people. 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 35, Jehoiakim paid Pharaoh Necho the silver and gold he demanded. In order to do so, he taxed the land and exacted the silver and gold from the people of the land according to their assessments. This taxation strategy exemplified the economic repercussions of political alliances, revealing the kingdom's financial strain under external pressures. Question 7. How old was Jehoiakim when he ascended to the throne as the king of Judah? A. 25 years old. B. 30 years old. C. 35 years old. D, 40 years old. You get 10 seconds. That's A, 25 years old. 2 Kings, chapter 23, verse 36. Jehoiakim was 25 years old when he became king. Jehoiakim assumed the throne at a youthful age of 25. Question 8. What was the duration of Jehoiakim's reign in Jerusalem? A. 7 years. B. 9 years. C. 11 years. D. 13 years. You get 10 seconds. That's C, 11 years. 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 36. Jehoiakim was 25 years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem 11 years. Jehoiakim ruled Jerusalem for 11 years, a period marked by political complexities and interactions with foreign powers. This time frame reflects the challenges and dynamics of his reign within the historical context of the biblical narrative. Question 9. What actions was King Jehoiakim known for? A. He emphasized humility and piety. B. He promoted justice and equity. C. He led the nation in righteous deeds. D. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord. You get 10 seconds. That's D. 
he did evil in the eyes of the Lord. 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 37. And he did evil in the eyes of the Lord, just as his predecessors had done. Jehoiakim was known for engaging in actions considered evil in the sight of the Lord, aligning with the negative patterns set by his predecessors. This contributed to the spiritual and moral challenges faced by the nation in biblical history. Question 10. Who was the prophet that recorded the events of Jehoiakim's reign? A. Isaiah B. Jeremiah C. Ezekiel D. Daniel You get 10 seconds. That's B, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. The words of Jeremiah son of Hilkiah, one of the priests at Anathoth in the territory of Benjamin. The word of the Lord came to him in the thirteenth year of the reign of Josiah son of Ammon king of Judah, and through the reign of Jehoiakim son of Josiah king of Judah. The prophet Jeremiah documented the events of Jehoiakim's reign under divine guidance. Question 11. According to Jeremiah chapter 22, verses 13 to 17, what did the Lord condemn Jehoiakim for? A. His luxurious lifestyle. B. Exploitation of labor. C. Failure to uphold justice. D. All of the above. You get 10 seconds. That's D, all of the above. Jeremiah chapter 22, verses 13 to 17. The Lord condemned Jehoiakim for his luxurious living, exploiting labor without just compensation, and his failure to uphold justice. He denounced the king's pursuit of personal gain at the expense of others, exposing a lack of compassion and righteousness. This rebuke reflected God's expectation for leaders to prioritize justice, fairness and compassion in their governance, qualities Jehoiakim fell short of during his reign. Question 12. How did Jeremiah predict the people would react to Jehoiakim's death as recorded in Jeremiah chapter 22? A. People would not mourn for him. B. People would celebrate with joy. C. People would organize a grand funeral. D. People would commemorate the occasion with festivities. You get 10 seconds. That's A. People would not mourn for him. Jeremiah chapter 22 verses 18 to 19. They will not mourn for him. Alas, my brother, alas, my sister. Jeremiah's prophecy underscores a lack of affection or respect from the people during Jehoiakim's reign due to his unrighteous actions. Question 13. What did Jeremiah predict regarding Jehoiakim's burial due to his wicked actions as recorded in Jeremiah chapter 22, verses 18 to 19? A. A burial in Babylon. B. A burial in Egypt. C. A burnt offering outside Judah. D. No proper burial and a disgraceful end. You get 10 seconds. That's D, no proper burial and a disgraceful end. Jeremiah chapter 22, verses 18 to 19. 
Jeremiah warned about the wicked actions of Jehoiakim, stating that he would be buried with the burial of a donkey, dragged and cast out beyond the gates of Jerusalem. This was a consequence of Jehoiakim's unjust and oppressive rule, as well as his failure to act with righteousness and justice. Question 14. What was the curse of King Jehoiakim as recorded in Jeremiah chapter 22, verses 28 to 30? A. People would forget his descendants. B. His descendants would suffer many disasters. C. None of his descendants would ever sit on the throne of Israel. D. His name would not be revered by future generations. You get 10 seconds. That's C. None of his descendants would ever sit on the throne of Israel. Jeremiah chapter 22, verses 28 to 30. Record this man as if childless, a man who will not prosper in his lifetime, for none of his offspring will prosper. None will sit on the throne of David or rule any more in Judah. This pronounced consequence signified a disruption in the royal lineage, illustrating divine judgment on Jehoiakim's unrighteous rule. Question 15. What did the Lord desire when instructing Jeremiah to write down his words throughout the reigns of King Josiah to King Jehoiakim? A. The kings would form powerful alliances. B. A period of unparalleled prosperity would ensue. C. The people of Judah would turn from their wicked ways. D. The nation would experience continuous peace and harmony. You get 10 seconds. That's C. The people of Judah would turn from their wicked ways. Jeremiah chapter 36 verses 1 to 3. Perhaps when the people of Judah hear about every disaster I plan to inflict on them, they will each turn from their wicked ways. Then I will forgive their wickedness and their sin. In instructing Jeremiah to document his words, God sought the repentance of Judah. The written account aimed to inspire a turning away from wickedness, providing an opportunity for forgiveness and reconciliation with the divine. Question 16. What did Jehoiakim do after Jehudi read three or four columns of the scroll of Baruch, Jeremiah's scribe? A. Repented and sought forgiveness. B. Believed and declared a national fast. C. Cut the scroll with a knife and burned it. D. Ordered the construction of a new temple. You get 10 seconds. That's C. Cut the scroll with a knife and burned it. Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 23. Whenever Jehudi had read three or four columns of the scroll, the king cut them off with a scribe's knife and threw them into the fire pot until the entire scroll was burned in the fire. Jehoiakim's acts displayed resistance to God's message through Jeremiah. This symbolized the king's rejection of divine counsel contributing to the somber portrayal of his reign in biblical history. Question 17. What was the reaction of King Jehoiakim and his attendants upon hearing Jeremiah's prophecy recorded in the scroll of Baruch? A. They tore their clothes in anguish. B. They expressed great fear and remorse. C. They repented and sought forgiveness. 
D. They remained indifferent and showed no fear. You get 10 seconds. That's D. They remained indifferent and showed no fear. Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 24. The king and all his attendants who heard all these words showed no fear, nor did they tear their clothes. Contrary to an expected response of fear or remorse, their lack of concern illustrated a stubborn rejection of the divine message. Question 18. Who urged King Jehoiakim not to burn the scroll? A. Jehoiachin and Zedekiah B. Elnathan, Deliah, and Jemariah C. The high priest of Judah D. The people of Judah You get 10 seconds. That's B, Elnathan, Deleah, and Jemariah. Jeremiah chapter 36, verse 25. Even though Elnathan, Deleah, and Jemariah urged the king not to burn the scroll, he would not listen to them. Elnathan, Deleah, and Jemariah attempted to dissuade King Jehoiakim from burning the scroll, demonstrating a contrasting stance against the king's defiance. Question 19. Instead of heeding the advice of Elnathan, Deleah, and Jemariah, what did King Jehoiakim decide to do? A. He expelled Baruch and Jeremiah from Judah. B. He commanded the killing of Baruch and Jeremiah. C. He ordered Baruch and Jeremiah to be taken to Babylon. D. He commanded to arrest Baruch and Jeremiah. You get 10 seconds. That's D. He commanded to arrest Baruch and Jeremiah. Jeremiah, chapter 36, verse 26. Instead, the king commanded Jeremiel, a son of the king, Sariah son of Azrael, and Shelemiah son of Abdeel, to arrest Baruch the scribe and Jeremiah the prophet. But the Lord had hidden them. Disregarding counsel, Jehoiakim ordered the arrest of Baruch and Jeremiah. This incident underscores the ongoing resistance to the prophetic message during Jehoiakim's reign. Question 20. What did Jeremiah prophesy regarding Jehoiakim's descendants in the context of the new scroll? A. They would rebuild the destroyed temple. B. They would rule with justice and righteousness. C. They would face disaster for their wickedness. D. They would experience unprecedented prosperity. You get 10 seconds. That C, they would face disaster for their wickedness. Jeremiah chapter 36 verses 27 to 31. I will punish him and his children and his attendants for their wickedness. I will bring on them and those living in Jerusalem and the people of Judah every disaster I pronounced against them because they have not listened. The prophecy foretold the harsh consequences awaiting the lineage emphasizing the divine judgment on the family for their unrighteous actions. Question 21. Who invaded the land during Jehoiakim's reign? A. Pharaoh Necho B. Nebuchadnezzar C. Aramean raiders D. The king of Egypt You get 10 seconds.
That's B, Nebuchadnezzar. 2 Kings chapter 24, verse 1. During Jehoiakim's reign, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon invaded the land. In Jehoiakim's reign, Babylon's king Nebuchadnezzar invaded Judah, marking a pivotal moment in the kingdom's history. Question 22. How long did Jehoiakim become a vassal to Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon? A. Three years. B. Four years. C. Five years. D. Six years. You get 10 seconds. That's A, three years, 2 Kings chapter 24, verse 1. And Jehoiakim became his vassal for three years. But then he turned against Nebuchadnezzar and rebelled. Jehoiakim served as Nebuchadnezzar's vassal for three years, a period marked by Babylonian dominance over Judah. Question 23. Which nations did the Lord send to raid Judah as a consequence of Jehoiakim's rebellion? A. Persian, Greek, Roman B. Babylonian, Aramean, Moabite, Ammonite C. Babylonian, Assyrian, Egyptian D. Philistine, Edomite, Hittite You get 10 seconds. That's B, Babylonian, Aramean, Moabite, Ammonite. 2 Kings chapter 24, verse 2. The Lord sent Babylonian, Aramean, Moabite, and Ammonite raiders against him to destroy Judah in accordance with the word of the Lord proclaimed by his servants, the prophets. In response to Jehoiakim's rebellion, the Lord sent a coalition of Babylonian, Aramean, Moabite, and Ammonite raiders to bring judgment upon Judah, fulfilling the prophetic words of the Lord's servants. Question 24. After defeated by Nebuchadnezzar, where was King Jehoiakim taken? A. Egypt B. Babylon C. Persia D. Tyre You get 10 seconds. That's B, Babylon. 2 Chronicles chapter 36, verse 6. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, attacked him and bound him with bronze shackles to take him to Babylon. Following Nebuchadnezzar's victory, Jehoiakim was taken to Babylon, bound with bronze shackles. This event marked the beginning of the Babylonian captivity, a consequential period in Judah's history, illustrating the consequences of rebellion against Babylonian rule. Oh wow, what an incredible odyssey we've just concluded, immersing ourselves in the compelling narrative of King Jehoiakim. Now, it's your turn to share your experience with the 25 questions that unfolded in this video. Drop a comment below and let us know how many questions you got right and, more importantly, the profound lessons you've extracted from Jehoiakim's impactful journey. If this quiz resonated with you, take a moment to share this video with your friends and family. Let's extend the ripple effect of comprehension and appreciation for the intricate dynamics of King Jehoiakim's life. Together, we can ignite a shared passion for learning and reflecting on the timeless teachings embedded in Jehoiakim's legacy. Thank you for being an essential part of this enlightening adventure. Let's ensure the conversation continues keep sharing, keep learning, and stay connected. Until our next exploration, stay curious and stay engaged.